day 28 teresa's darkness part 2 in one's spiritual life there are periods of great consolation when we feel the lord so close to us we are afire with his love this could happen at a retreat during a sacred liturgy eucharistic adoration a week on the beach or while holding an infant in your arms yesterday and today we have focused on periods of darkness what saint ignatius calls desolation when we don't feel god's presence they are a normal part of the ebb and the flows of a spiritual life sometimes are more pronounced and may be a period of spiritual dryness or may even experienced as the dark night of the soul how to deal with them saint ignatius is clear that we must press forward and don't change a thing periods of desolation are part of the spiritual journey and can be moments of great grace when we learn to love god for who god is and not for the feelings we get when we pray love is not what you get out of the relationship but what you put in even if you don't feel like you are getting anything in return of course that is assuming you are doing everything right for me i often find it useful to reflect on what i stopped doing i find that more often than not the person gave up some spiritual experience and over a period of time has simply run out of spiritual gas people will say i stopped reading the bible because i don't have time i stopped going to prayer group because i moved in this case start reading the bible again and find a prayer group to help meet your needs with the help of a spiritual director you may also need a change of tact the analogy i like is that of sailing if you feel that you are going nowhere it may not be that the wind or god's grace is not blowing it could be because you are facing into the wind adjust your sails accordingly and you will move forward albeit in a slightly different direction today's prayer come holy spirit fire of mercy witness that i choose to accept saint teresa's help as i prepare to offer myself to merciful love amen